And I want to give a shout out to the number one chat room in all of YouTube. Grace is the alien. The, he's from another planet. I don't know. I, <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. I went to give blood, and the, and the lady at the first desk took my hand and led me right into the recovery room. The new Kill Tony bucket signed by Ichabod. This is what this guy lives for. This is what this guy dies for. From Las Vegas, Nevada. Ichabod! 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 We drove all the way here from uh, Vegas. Well, we, who's we? Through the night. <laughs> Craig has signed up. Or Ichabod. Ichabod? Ichabod! <laughs> How old are your friends? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There, the seed was planted on the show earlier, and I cannot fucking believe that I get to say this right now for the first time ever on this show. Wow! Put your hands together for Ichabod. Yeah! Oh! My name is Ichabod. <laughs> I like hookers. <laughs> <laughs> I like hookers because a hooker will never walk up with, to me with a clipboard and ask me if I'm registered to vote. <laughs> Can I talk about GMOs, genetically modified food? <laughs> they made giant red tomatoes as big as my hand, giant watermelons with no seeds. They, they have cattle with the beef and the fat perfectly balanced for the superior deliciousness. But I think they've gone too far with these boneless chickens. That's fucked up. <laughs> what do you do for work? Uh, you definitely don't whistle for work, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's discuss the teeth and get it out of the way. Right. <laughs> I'm on disability for post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic oh, stress. God. Fuck yeah, you, you, killed, you killed some of Tam Fam's relatives at some yeah. point in your life, I'm guessing. Right? Nothing? Okie dokie. Are you a vet? Did you serve? No, I, oh. I'm from Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. It's the same, same yeah. difference. He's, Las he's, Vegas, hey, Vietnam, same thing. He serves. <laughs> he serves. Applebee's. You know, yeah. Friday nights. Well, do you well, always yeah. wanted to do comedy? Is that what, what's your situation yeah, with comedy? Yeah, I've been wanting to do it for over two years now. So oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Ever since you show. stopped uh, cutting off people's heads on horses, uh, Ich Ichabod's an interesting name. Uh, what's it been like going through life with a name like Ichabod? Well, it, I was at the bar and uh, you know people give nicknames. Imagine that. And I got Ichabod. Everyone laughed, and I said, "Stop laughing! I'll actually change my name to Ichabod." And they laughed harder. What form of transportation did you yes, have to yeah. <laughs> bring from Vegas? Did you guys like what? Wh what is this? Some kind of fucking like oh, leopard ride. ride or something like I that? Got, yeah, no, it's for sure Greyhound. With my uh, uncle Ronnie K. So we I called all the ravens uncle? in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Ron is your uncle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. So this was a family trip. Yeah. <laughs> right. You got. <laughs> First Almost. time, first time doing comedy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Fuck yeah. yeah, that's amazing, Ichabod. I love it. I'm afraid of large bodies of water, like <laughs> like, <laughs> like the Bellagio fountains, or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had this nightmare when I was a kid <laughs> about being in like my bathtub, but it had no sides or bottom. I was just water everywhere, and it was going yeah. dark. And this was like I was three or four. Ichabod, you were in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, no, I, but. There was no bottom or sides. I was drawing. My mom freaks out. So then she goes, "Tell me if you have that nightmares keep coming." So they kept coming, and then I would like ha keep having the nightmares, but I didn't want to tell her because that oh. freaked out. <laughs> used to be what? Sorry. I used to be an assistant for a whole Oh. Day. That's how I got so you got her coffee. Hold on. Did you get demoted from <laughs> pimp? Wait, you were a hooker's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> you went to Starbucks and got her lattes before she yeah, sucked right, <laughs> dick on her. That's right. I, you have a pimp, and then the hooker, yeah. and then the hooker has an assistant? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Is she sending you to get slapped around for her? It looks like Ichabod took the majority of the slaps in this one. Yeah. What's your favorite, what's the most beautiful part of a woman to you? Uh, good conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the hooker's on the phone for you, Ichabod. Go ahead, hooker, any time now. Do I have to answer it? This hooker... <laughs> 
I, Pick up. I, that's I, got, guy I got food in the oven. I am hungry. I, yeah, you're hungry now? I love it. Pick up. I'm going to let it's you go. Attention. Before you eat us. Uh, it was so nice to have you on the show. Congratulations oh. on your first time on stage. Yeah. Fucking Ichabod. I'm so happy that they drove in from Vegas and they both yeah. got yeah, that's on awesome. the show. It's unfucking believable. One more time for Ron K and Ichabod. So many fun people get pulled out of this bucket, but nobody hit us quite the way that this next comedian did. Here tonight, all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, I give you the one, the only, Ichabod! Here he comes. Hi, my name is Ichabod. Thank you. It's, a, it's an honor to be here on the, on the most watched live video stream podcast in the history of the universe. Uh, you have real life legendary comedians giving you feedback. Like, like my feedback, apparently I'm creepy. I, I didn't know. I had no idea. But thinking back now, I really did have a lot of awkward moments in my life. Yeah, like one time I was riding along with some friends and we got pulled over by the police. Yeah. That minute yeah. goes pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ichabod. You got pulled over by the police and what? Yeah, it was crazy. And the two cops are walking up behind the car, you know, and one cop says the other cop, watch the creepy guy. And I said, oh. And I looked next to the guy sitting next to me. A Chippendale dancer. I said, oh man, that's so unfair. I don't think what you do is that creepy. <laughs> there you go, Ichabod. Ichabod is back. Ichabod. Wait, so he drove up with Uncle Ron to picture, do your show? Picture him and Uncle Ron. <laughs> in a In the same car together. Uncle Ron doing bumps of coke every no, once in a while. <laughs> wow, We're thank you. A pumpkin head. It's a signed jack-o'-lantern from Ichabod. Thank you, Ichabod. He already has you know what? Die. Watch this. This is how quickly you become part of history. Oh, the new bucket! Fast. The new Kill Tony bucket, signed by Ichabod. Just happened right here, live. Oh, yeah. I get, well, I'm on disability, but once a week I go, I'd leave the house and I get a job as a DJ at this open mic comedy thing. I play the intros and outros. And what does that pay a year? I get a free Coke. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Coke. A lot of Coke in the Ron Ichabod dyad. They yeah. pay you in Coca-Cola? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're genuinely excited about that. You drink a lot of soda, Ichabod? Uh, sometimes two, yeah. <laughs> two? One for each car. Wow. Wow. Did, you, uh, did you drive? No, I don't drive. Who uh, drove? Ron drove? Yeah. Holy wow. fuck. Oh, Jesus. It, it, yeah. Ichabod, uh, that's a sitcom right there. What do you do for fun in Las Vegas? Oh my God, Tony. Well, I don't Other know. than lure children. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I try and get into sports, so I go to this new thing in Las Vegas. I don't know exactly how legal this is, but it's Friday night gunfights. <laughs> and and uh, you, you sit behind a bulletproof window. And then they'll have like one on one or teams and they shoot at each other. Do people they, get shot? Yeah, it's awesome. Or, <laughs> yeah. It's, it, they, Wait, <laughs> Saturday night gunfights? Friday night Friday gunfights. Friday night gunfights. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. shoot at each other? No, no he, he watches, he watches it. watches them shoot at each other. Do, do people die? Not yet, no. <laughs> no, they. And so this message says A few weeks ago, Jeremiah said I should let you know if I'm going to the Kill Tony show. I'll be there this next Monday. And so far, just you and my uncle Ron know. Yeah. Is he your? He's not really your uncle. Is no. he your real uncle? Are you guys Ron? related? No, I just said his name three times. Ichabod, is Uncle Ron really your uncle, or you just call him Uncle Ron? 
Hey, shut up, lady. Hey, were you ever on that sitcom, Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Ichabod, I'm going to ask you this again. Is Uncle Ron actually your uncle, or do you just call him Uncle Ron? No, yeah, he does. He's your he's, uncle? Yeah, he's uh, a, a <laughs> father's brother's son. Oh, boy. Father's brother's Here son. Here we go. Yeah, that, How long have you been calling him Uncle Ron? About five, ten years now. Yeah, because you, you met him five years ago? No, I met him like ten, I don't know, ten we years ago. We were in the Marine Corps so together. When it comes to you. Was, like last Corpse. time I was here, you asked me if I played the guitar, and I totally forgot. Oh my God, I do play the guitar. I just totally forgot. You said no last time you were on? I asked you yeah. if you play guitar? Yeah, I said I should play guitar, and then on the way home, I'm like, oh my God, I do play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, this place I DJ, it's open mic. I think it's one of the best in Las Vegas. And uh, I, I've heard rumors we would love to have you there. And they actually said, you know, we'll give you 100% of the door. You Tony's, Ooh, Tony's, Tony. Tony's one of the best uh, open micers in the business. He'd true. love to come. It's true. And I've been looking for a place that'll have you. You've been me looking in Las for Vegas. an open mic Doug, to go to. Doug right. Dan Hope was there just recently, did a special there. And oh, at that venue? Follow up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did, well, they, yeah, did they pay uh, him actually, in Coca Cola? Started as a joke, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Ichabod just booked me in Las Vegas. Uh, oh God, this oh is so God, fun. Did I forget to tell you the name of the place. Yeah, say it. World famous dive bar in Las Vegas. That's called the world famous dive bar. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's your plug. Did you have fun up here tonight? Oh, it's not my bar. I just DJ there, but. Well, <laughs> I know, I know it's not your bar, but you still gave it a plug. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like the time you forgot that you play guitar. Yeah, drive so it was my plug. <laughs> Ichabod, is there anything else you want to say? The mic is yours. It's one of the greatest moments of my life. I can't thank you enough. Wow. There you go, Ichabod, ladies and gentlemen. There's really been no one that I've been asked about more than the man that you're about to see right now. Uh, he's only made two appearances ever on this show, and his second appearance, fun fact, he actually gave us the bucket in which we now pull names out of. He is an absolute Kill Tony legend. Ladies and gentlemen from Las Vegas, Nevada, I present to you the real life Ichabod! <laughs> there is a coffin in the middle of the room. <laughs> Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Make some noise for Ichabod! Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That was a long, long bus ride. Holy shit. Yeah, my name is Ichabod. The, uh, some refer to me as Ichabod, the homeless horseman. I lost my horse, so now I'm Ichabod, the homeless horseman who rides the fucking bus. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit, here it goes. I uh, need to apologize. I did one of the most disturbing and disgusting things anyone could ever do to anyone. I sent a dick pic to Kathy Griffin. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I apologize. But it was a joke, right? I cut the head of my dick off. Supposed to be funny, right? Keep going, Ichabod. Keep going. Just let him. Let's just see what it goes. Is that it? Oh, you want more? Oh, is that it? Yeah. I, well, okay. okay go I, on. I I I I used a steak knife, so it didn't really. You know, did you ever cut a steak knife with a hot dog? You know, and it just kind of goes in all different parts, and it really didn't turn out too well. Okay. All right. Here we are. The great Ichabod. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Tip of the hat. You have three pairs of sunglasses on your head. Uh, you, you have the uh, look that we all know you from. Uh, we, Yes. You look better than ever. Can I say that, Ichabod? 
Oh, thank you. I've been working out, you know. Really? What gained you, what kind I gained of, two pounds. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of working out do you do? Oh, I go for walks. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. How are you feeling right now? Oh, great. A little tired, but, you know, I, uh, it's been great ever since the show. You see, when I used to walk in the room, people would go, check out that fucking guy. But now I go in their room, and they're like, it's fucking Ichabod. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> well, you're, you, did it, you did it yourself by looking the way you do and being who you are. Yeah, you're ahead of your, you're ahead of your time, and by that I mean your body has already started <laughs> decomposing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you eat on a daily basis? Uh, Coca-Cola, what I have. <laughs> you uh, eat Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> What else? Like uh, some uh, Cheerios, uh, Cheerios, cheeseburgers, and Cheerios and Coca-Cola. Cheeseburgers and uh, <laughs> fish and sticks. Fish and sticks, yeah. both of them. Fish and just Friday normal night. sticks that fall off fish, of trees. Fishing poles. Fish and sticks is what he said. The old sticks and fish. And do you He's make? He's now applying a different pair of sunglasses. He's decided it's just serious sunglasses. And then after you eat, do you do you flush your do you do you flush your do you floss your tooth right away? There was no <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even say. <laughs> you still DJing at the nightclub in Las Vegas? Nightclub, yeah. <laughs> dive bar. Dive yeah. bar. Okay. Every Monday. And I want to apologize to the audience that we've had some people stop in and everything. When I said it was a great open mic. I didn't mean that the audience was great. I meant. <laughs> Wait, what's that mean? It, 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 <laughs> the microphone works. <laughs> it's, you know, you get a lot of variety. You get like a racist alien. You get, you know, people off the street. What's you a get racist homeless. alien? There's what do you mean? Yeah. It's what's a, a racist alien, alien, alien the, like? Well, he comes in, he just rips on all different races and everything. It's what crazy. race is the alien? And, uh, He's from another planet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Very, yeah. So th this alien comes in and yeah. he's just racist against Earthlings? Yeah. yeah. Like all different races. Like these goddamn, these goddamn white. How do you see people? How do you summon him? Like meth or? <laughs> <laughs> How much Coca-Cola do you have to drink well, before the <laughs> alien comes in? <laughs> do you drink huh? Ichabod? Do you drink alcohol? Oh, once in a while, yeah. It helps calm my nerves, but I'm going without tonight. A lot of times I'll just pass out on stage. But Really? Yeah. You go on any dates or anything like that? No, I probably should, though. I'll, I'll hang out tonight and see what happens on the path. Oh, shit. Ladies, Ooh. look out. Ooh. Ichabod. Ichabod. Um, is there anything about you that you really love, like a, a passion or something that you have that you think it would surprise me to know? Oh, yeah. When no one's around, I lock all the doors, shut all the shades. I crank up um, Lady Gaga, born this way, and I dance naked. I, wow. I don't know why, but I feel like I already knew that about you. <laughs> where, are you where are you going to sleep tonight? I don't know. There's, I, I the sat down by the, the bus station. The they have these free tents down at the bus station that, I don't know. That's dark. <laughs> yes, Uncle Ron. Think about it, not think about it. He lied to me today. He said he was coming out here for an interview for Big Brother, just to get me out here. Big yeah. We, had, big, he, I, we had <laughs> a, a Cocker Spaniel really did adopt. Me and Ichabod a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and he lied to me to get me to go, come out here. I he said that. that he had a Big Brother interview for the show coming up this month. Wow. Uh, this guy actually signed up for the show, and uh, that's uh, quite incredible. Um, he is the reason why we, were he we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the only real uh, star of the show from Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a guy who I know has taken greyhounds to Los Angeles, train rides to Los Angeles, and scarier than all that, he's driven twice with Uncle Ron from Las Vegas. 
I present to you the one and only Ichabod. Las Vegas, Nevada's very own. Pulled out of the bucket. The creator of the Bucket of Destiny in Hollywood, California. One of our favorite humans. Las Vegas' own Ichabod, the undertaker of Kill Tony. One more time for Ichabod and then you take it away. Hell yeah, who's ready for summer? Huh? It, in the middle of June, it's right around the corner and it's going to go up to 130 degrees. And I'm going to crawl into my bedroom and I'm going to crawl into my bed. I'm going to turn on the TV, turn on the air conditioner. I'm going to watch Big Brother continuously for three months. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, head of household, power of veto. I'm going to want names like Evil Dick. Yeah, that's my kind of summer. I, I might watch too much Big Brother, though, I might admit. I watch so much Big Brother, I, I'll go out with my friends, and uh, I'll try to get them to play Big Brother. You know, I'll form an alliance and say, Hey, guys, we need to get rid of Steve. Hey, look at that. Do you really enjoy that show? Because it doesn't seem like you would. Hold on. Yeah. For... It's... Yes, you, you like it. You watch it. Do you rewatch episodes? No, I'm watching, uh, I watch the live feed, so they call me a super fan. Hell yeah. And then I watch the show, and I think, yeah, I think, I think do, I'd do, do well you... on that show. I'm going to be honest with you, Ichabod. I think that it is absolutely <laughs> awesome. I know how nervous you get and how much pressure you put on yourself for these shows. Uh, yeah. And let me just tell you, I can't tell you how cool I think it is. I'm pretty sure you just had, like, the second best set of the night up here. Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Ichabod, you run the karaoke show out of here every... Uh... Karaoke? No, stand-up show. Oh, you I run, run the, the stand-up show. Yeah, yeah, Tony. Oh, we well, used to do k- karaoke or something, right? No. Oh, okay. No. Oh, so you run, you, how long have you run the stand-up show out of here? Did I run a karaoke and totally forget? <laughs> I th- now, can I tell you something? I actually heard a rumor, and I want to know if this is true. I, oh, this is a true story. Probably. I have not talked with Ichabod about this earlier in the night, by the way, guys. I'm going to get real for a second. Someone told me tonight that works here for this venue that's been working with us that you once actually died and were oh. legally dead, and they resuscitated you. You woke up at the hospital, yep. and you pulled the IV out of your arm and came here because it was Monday night at 8, and you wanted yeah. to do a spot here. Yeah. Is yeah. there any truth to this? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. This is what this guy lives for. This is what this guy dies for. He came all the way from Vegas today yeah. on a Greyhound fucking bus. How about you make some goddamn noise for... Ich- yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was a long trip here. I, didn't, I, I rode on a mega bus. The, the, the mega bus is so ghetto. On the way here, we got passed by a Greyhound. <laughs> hey, check it out. I got a kick-ass tan. I got really all dark this summer. And I'm still pale as a ghost. Yeah. Fuck. I look like Slash from Guns N' Roses as if a vampire sucked all the blood out of him. <laughs> I, I went to give blood, and the, and the lady at the first desk took my hand and led me right into the recovery room. <laughs> I, when I go out at night, I have to be careful not to pass out near graveyards. Yeah, they, they might think I fell out of the back of a casket and try and bury me. That'd be a hell of a hangover, huh? Meow. Uh, hell yeah, on with oh, the sunglasses, huh? I'm tired. Wait, what are you doing, Ichabod? Come on. Stand up, Ichabod. You're scaring me. There's Usually a, there's yeah. a stool on stage. Whoa. It seems like you really put some stuff together and started roasting yourself there a little bit of the way through, huh? Yeah, I, I took advice from the panel, and uh, shout out to Greg Fitzsimmons, who yeah. gave me one of those jokes, and I yeah. built off of it. Hey, fuck yeah, yeah. dude. 
Look at that. Greg Fitzsimmons, head writer of the HBO show Crashing. Yeah. And for Ichabod. Now. Yeah, it's Ichabod's. a new credit. Ichabod, Ichabod's Might be a, the better credit. I head think writer. It, it could be. <laughs> Can you take your hat off? Because I'm hoping you're bald up there. What's just up to, there? Is the, to, is the hair connected to the hat? Oh, that's some real rock and roll <laughs> shit right there. You wouldn't take it off far. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just cobwebs. Uh, how's your Uncle Ron, yeah. and why'd you come out here without him this time? <laughs> Something tells me you murdered him. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't <laughs> seen him in uh, quite a while. A whole bunch of people it was really awesome. Wow, that was you did stand-up comedy. Before the rock before show. Before the rock band. That is yeah. so fucking cool. How, many, uh, how much stage time did you do? How many minutes? Uh, they gave me ten. I got up to five, and I kind of got nervous and bailed. <laughs> <laughs> And you, did you just bring up the band, or did you at least stall for five minutes? Did you just bring them up? Yeah, I was like, I were they all there? Joke. Were they ready? So, the, hey, uh, by the way, welcome the scoundrels. Hey, That's by a great the way, intro. What an amazing <laughs> intro. Hey, that was, uh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, I try. I'm gonna do better next time. I, I'm gonna really rock it next time. When you time, mean when you open for a rock band? Yeah, next time I'm gonna yeah. do better. Did you do any of the jokes that you did here tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. A couple old ones, couple new did ones. Did it go well at all, or Tried was everybody just crap. talking the entire time? No, I actually went decent. Really? Yeah. Rock, rock bands tend to be a pretty tough show. Yeah. Was the band upset that you brought them out a little early? Yeah. Well, I I came out with a little uh, energy and everything, and then really I, you <laughs> no fucking yeah. way. Here yeah, it is. Yeah, a little more. Give it up know. for the scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and tried, you know, work that, get the crowd going. Normally, <laughs> those rock shows are like job. pulling teeth. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. not <laughs> easy, dude. Can we see, can you give us the intro, a recreation to see? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this next band is one of my favorite bands from Las Vegas. They won the best band in Las Vegas. Let's give it up for the Scoundrels! Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's just going to be another five minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, last time, Aphrodite made me chicken. That, that Ooh, was, uh, shit. Awesome. That was some Damn, that must stuff. have been crazy yeah. for your body to feel some vitamins getting into it, huh? <laughs> All right. That is, uh, so you drove here with Ichabod, is that correct? Fuck that, no. We took a cheap-ass Greyhound. You took a Greyhound yeah. with Ichabod. Not $10 that? tickets. Damn, it's $10 to get to Vegas, mm -hmm. or from Vegas yep. to get here. $10. It's yep. like $40 on Southwest. That sounds <laughs> like a ripoff. <laughs> the creator of Ichabod's Bucket of Destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, as a special Halloween treat, I present to you Kill Tony legendary character, Hall of Famer, the great and powerful Ichabod! Oh, I haven't lived to that much in 20 years. Oh, yeah, check out everyone who got dressed up for Halloween. I decided to be a toothless vampire who happens to be very, very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I, uh. <laughs> I want to... Take this Halloween opportunity moment to talk about The Walking Dead. Have you guys seen the show? This is a great Halloween show. But you know what? I would get bitten right away. I wouldn't be paying attention. Did that panhandler just bite me? What the oh, shit. What the fuck? I want to eat brains? No, I hate brains. It's gross. I faint at the sight of needles. I can't stand it. There's no way I could live at the bur I can't eat brains. I'll eat at White Castle. Yeah, that's all I'll do. I'll eat at White Castle. Just slap a dollar twenty-five on the table. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'll walk to. I would just. Oh damn. 
Yeah. And finish it. What were you talking about? <laughs> I don't even know. Go ahead. Sure. Oh. Fuck it. There, I would, you know, what I would do. I, I would, I would like walk. To, uh, a desert would be a walk to the park. Yeah, I could just play with the buzzards. I could mess with those buzzards. I would like, I go, hey, buzzard, buzzard. Yeah, I'm dying. I'm dying, buzzard. Come here, come here, all of you, come here, <laughs> come here, buzzard. There you go. Go ahead. Pa- oh, yeah. I think that hurt. Gotcha. Got. Yeah. And I grab that buzzard right in front of all his friends. I bite his head off like. Z- all right, all right. Hey, come oh. on. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. I feel like if I didn't stop you, you would have just ran your new hour special up here. Uh, pretty much had a stroke when you said that you were hungry, come on. Uh, <laughs> just something, I don't think I've ever heard a comedian say that on stage in all what my years. That? What is that? Is that a... Oh. In I just wanted to quick turn in my resume for the intern. Thing. Wow, this is frightening. Uh, guys, it's uh, Tony. <laughs> Why is there white powder all over it? Uh, just kidding. It's written in crayon. <laughs> Ichabod's resume. It's not spelled correctly. <laughs> oh. Let's start with the resume do, being do you spelled know incorrectly. Do you know that's not how you spell it? There's no Y in resume. <laughs> right, res- resume. You spell it like the month of May. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. Looking for something to do. Work history. Collect yeah. money for women on Fremont Street. Yeah, I was pretty Help good Help Uncle it. Ron connect to internet. <laughs> it took a while, but we did it. Personal assistant for a prostitute, but you spelled prostitute. Prostitute, P- P-O-T. <laughs> 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 right. Prostitute. Toot. And the, and the actual, oh, it's amazing. Toot. DJing intros and outros for comics at Dive Bar. That's yeah. pretty cool. That's, that's now that's actually a legit thing that could help you get an internship here. <laughs> he's, got his, uh, he's got his medical history on there. That's good. Legal history. Only been to jail a few times. <laughs> medical history. Trying to overcome PTSD. Skills. Rolling joints, shooting pool, making cheeseburgers, moonwalking. Is that true? You know how to moonwalk? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You don't know how to moonwalk. All right. Very cool. Uh, and rocking out and oh and also scaring people without trying has been (laughs) written in I've had these thoughts for like a year now I've been thinking about over the last week or so Uh and I I was I was thinking about um, I might want to do you know anything about like uh, if (laughs) I was going to be a furry a what? A furry. <laughs> no, that's yeah, red band y- Yeah, or. yeah. You, you're you easily qualified for that. Uh. I have three questions. Okay. Uh, one is, uh, <laughs> is, there, is there one of these things where there's no going back? When, when, when you Who the fuck furry starts or? with three questions, by the like way? Answer these questions three. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Maybe just one more. But that was the first one. What, wait, the what, what was the question? Can I just try it out, or once I become a furry, I'm kind of stuck? No, you can, can try I, it. You can oh. try it out. Yeah. All right, what's number two? <laughs> if you were a mass murderer and you saw a big crowd, but one was a furry, okay. would you avoid it or would you, like, oh, bonus N- points? No, you'd probably shoot at that first. Furry. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Why, wait, wh- what? Hey, okay. Uh. <laughs> Ichabod, now you did your first That's ever tough. stand-up comedy set on this show, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Do I have that story in my first head? First time on stage and everything, yeah. Right. I tried it online a couple of times, made people laugh online. Wow, yeah, I yeah. bet you did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yahoo <laughs> chat room number 42. Yeah, exactly, just fucking, uh, what was that called, chat roulette? Yeah, chat roulette. <laughs> people, get, people end up seeing Ichabod on the other side, just, oh, shit! And I want to give a shout-out to the number one chat room in all of YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay, you're talking to uh, that chat room. Wow, there you go. A shout out directly <laughs> to the chat room. Uh, you know, those people in the chat room are so nice that I'm, I'm sure they really appreciate it, Ichabod. There's nothing but big hearts on those people in the YouTube chat room live watching this show right now. Chat room, some YouTube of the, chat room, ASL, what up, some, what up? Some of the nicest, smartest, most productive people. Uh, I don't fade on, in public. I have this fainting problem where I get excited and I faint. But I haven't done, been doing like that goat. much this year. I've been doing pretty good and hanging in there. Good, man. Yeah. Don't faint. Yeah, it's hard. Thanks. Yeah, fuck fainting. Don't do that. Yeah. You take a lot of medicine for your PTSD? Uh, uh, I've changed to uh, marijuana. I think that's helping a lot better, actually. Oh, how long, how long, has, how long, how long has that change been for? 
Uh, uh, January first. January first. You, yeah. went, you went off your meds, cold turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and you switched to just marijuana. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. And how's I it? I still take my Harper medicine, but as far as the PTSD, I, I thank God. Different things. <laughs> right. I think that's what's most important is the heartburn medicine. Yeah. Well, a lot of the reason why we. Um, why we are at this venue is actually because one of the great anomalies in the history of Kiltonia, a gentleman that goes by the name of Ichabod, uh, he actually, uh, he actually, I guess he DJs here sometimes for free soda pop or something like that is the, is the story. Ichabod! I was laughing so hard, I'm crying. Oh, hey everyone. Hey, I like hookers. Yeah, I like hookers so much, I invited one to my hotel room and six of them showed up. <laughs> and this wasn't the Bellagio Hotel, no, this was on Fremont, across the street from the Western. 299 bucks a month, but I like the local humor there. <laughs> All these hookers offer say, hey, Ichabod, if you go run some errands for us, we'll get you as high as fuck. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Do you ever get so high you're like, shit, I think I got too high? I'm going to die here in this sleazy hotel room with all these hookers. Oh, fuck, wait a minute. That'd be the best way to go. Surrounded by the people that I love. Well, there you go. A new minute from Ichabod. Is this true? You really get hookers? Oh, I love hanging out with these gals. What do you, what do, you do? <laughs> That's a what do you what, what do you get from them? You have sex with hookers? It's okay. Up here. Yeah. Uh, See, you're a little bit different. Everybody else, I want to look around. I feel like any any time you're not looking at me, you just go into a daydream about nothing. <laughs> Flashbacks, Tony. Flashbacks. What does that mean? That's yeah. some lingo, Vegas well, lingo. Well, what I remember is being the, this uh, this one gal, and a bunch of guys took off their clothes after she took her clothes off, and I ended up being the foot guy. You were the foot guy. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, means I get the I get you, the foot. What does that mean? Oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> describe it with your words. I, I wanted to be nice about the whole thing, so I you know I said, well I'll I'll massage your foot, right? And uh-huh. then I go, oh, I might as well lick it, right? And so I wait a second, go, uh, a hooker's foot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, and you said there were other guys in the room? Yeah, she wanted me to watch. and She wanted you to watch, but you uh, ended up licking her foot. Yeah. I, did she see you licking her foot at any point? Yeah. And I, what did she say? Uh, she sent me off to go get vibrators and stuff. <laughs> I bet she did. <laughs> stop. Yeah, I fooled around with hookers and stuff, but ma- mainly it's just a camaraderie. You, you, know, like, uh, you like, you like cheap hookers or expensive hookers? Oh. It's an easy question. <laughs> I feel like apples and oranges. They're almost two different breeds. Tony, two fruits that you look, probably know nothing about, Ichabod. <laughs> Let's move on. How's our old friend Uncle Ron? Oh, he's here tonight. Is uh, he really? I haven't talked to him in a long Is he really time, here? though, by some walk Uncle by. Ron, why don't you come up here real quick? Where's Uncle Ron at? When's the last time you had lung cancer? About a year ago, after 12 years of... Hanging out with Ichabod. Ichabod smokes two packs a day. He thinks he only smokes one pack a day. He thinks he, he thinks he only smokes a pack a day. He's down to three quarters of a pack a day. Wow, that's so, so Ichabod. But, Ichabod, what do you think about Uncle Ron being, busting your balls about smoking so much? I only smoke th- three fourths of a pack a day. No way do I smoke that much. And what? What's you guys want to give each other a little peck on the lips? <laughs> we don't even live together. Why don't, you guys, why don't you guys make up right here? 
Give each other a little kiss. How many of you want to see these two make up right now? Come on, let's do it. The crowd wants it. Making friends again. Ichabod and Uncle Ron. Hey, it's happening. Come on, Ichabod. This show is chaos. Here he is. There's, he's raising the mic stand over his head. From Las Vegas, Nevada. He, he definitely took a bus all the way from Las Vegas to be here tonight. The crowd goes mild uh, at the <laughs> frightening appearance oh, hey. of the Kill Tony legend Ichabod. Now, if you don't know anything about Ichabod, take everything you've heard about every guest tonight and smash it together. Uh, he's gotten his dick sucked in bathrooms from every different type of person, including animals and uh, Ichabod. How's it going, pal? What, what brings you here tonight? Hey, hey there. <laughs> Hello, yes. More frightening well, than ever. Here, come I came stand to see the show. <laughs> come, hold on. Come awesome stand the show. I, I, uh, I come here for uh, Halloween, Tony. I tried to uh, send you a notice and everything, and I uh, guess you just didn't get it. I guess not. I must, it must have been when I was in Australia today, oh, oh. yesterday. Um, so, uh, happy Halloween. Yeah. Last year for Halloween, we had you come out of a coffin, didn't we? Oh, that was awesome. Hell yeah. yeah. And it looks like you've been sleeping in that coffin ever since. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always fun to have you around the Halloween season. Nothing says yeah. Halloween more than you. Bus tickets are only a dollar now. There was some sort of virus scare, and the prices just went all the There way was some down. sort of virus yeah, scare? Yeah, so yeah, bus yeah. tickets from Las Vegas, dollar. Nevada were only a dollar. <laughs> Got you a gift. Oh, great. Oh, wow. Nothing better yeah, than a yeah. gift and a virus scare in one yeah. story. <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, is it a tube? Oh, my. Probably dead. Oh, it's, it's a rib. Ra it's ra wrapped in a paper towel. Oh, that's toilet paper. I'm already, I'm already about to throw up. Oh. Am I supposed to open this? Oh, I got you some special. buffalo meat from Nevada. You brought buffalo meat on a it's bus It's unrefrigerated, from dude. That's like, no, it was oh, you keep that. That's okay, sit special. that. Just sit it down right. on the ground. I'll get it later. <laughs> Ichabod, you look better than oh. ever. You still on a steady diet of frozen fish sticks and Coca-Cola? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't make this yeah. shit up, can you? Yeah, I, I like all kinds of food. Yeah, I like what? What's something that you've eaten recently? Uh, on the way here, I had uh, gummy bears and Hostess <laughs> cupcakes. Anything else in your life happen uh, crazy lately, Ichabod? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I got a raise at the dive bar. You got a raise? Or, yeah. Wow. What, wait. Wasn't yeah. hold on though. Wait a second. Wasn't the dive bar only paying you in Coca Cola? Yeah. So what do they pay you now? Oh, I don't know yet. They, 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 they agreed I would get a raise, but we'll we'll find out. Huh. Oh, so they just said that they're gonna give you a yeah. raise. Cool. Uh, yeah, that is cool. Yeah. I have some uh, sad and uh, good news. The oh sad no! News don't tell me, Uncle Ron. Uncle Ron did pass away, but the no, he did. But the good news is his funeral is tomorrow. If you want to go, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> okay, sure. So you're getting painkillers, and then a guy says that Ron just died. Did you confirm no, he that he's it was not the around same? Anymore. Yeah, yeah. We Ron looked it up on the internet there, and uh, he has a great obituary. Uh, little dedication, and then uh, Uncle Ron will be loved and missed by all, I think. Here. One more time for Ichabod, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Holy cow. Hey, everyone. This is crazy or what? A lot of, wow, a lot of you are really surprised right now. They, uh, they think I'm, hey, what the hell is Mick Mars, the guitarist from Motley Crue, doing here on Kill Tony? <laughs> 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 I, and, <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey! I just moved recently, and uh, it's a really nice house. It's so fancy. I took a shower, right, and it's mirrors on every wall. And I got in. I scared myself half to death three times in three seconds. Exactly what I told you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. What? Well. Oh shit! Hey. My Uncle Ron does a lot of crazy shit. One time we were uh, 
he takes me all these all these shows, right? And after the show, the stars come out to meet me, and I'm like, what the hell is Uncle Ron saying to all these people to get me out right into the show? And oh, I'm out of time. Thank you, everyone. Wow, Ichabod, a legend on this show. Hell yeah, Ichabod, you look better than ever. What have you been eating and drinking lately? I had a cupcake. You had a cupcake today. Yeah. Where'd you get a cupcake from? Where? Oh, my memory is so bad. I bet it I, is, dude. A cupcake's the healthiest was, thing you've eaten in a yeah. long oh, time. I pulled it out of my lunchbox. Yeah. Oh, you had a lunchbox. Look at you. Yeah. Okay, what else is it? Can in the you lunchbox? legally show us? It's a human hand. Go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's just his phone, which is somehow scarier than anything <laughs> yeah. else. Phone I don't know why charger. his phone and charger terrifies me There's more. There's a comb. Tampon. What was that you just pulled out? Is that a little flashlight? Two oh, toothbrush. Toothbrush. Well, you got to have Well, yeah, might as well start now, I guess, you know? Uh, I got my raise at the dive bar, so every Labor Day I get to drink a beer while I work. Wow. That's your raise. Look at you. Uh, and, uh, Sometimes it's the simple things in yeah. life. There's been a lot of talk about uh, one time. You told me to bring this up on stage now, so if you want to talk about this one time only show that uh, we were talking about of uh, Kill Ichabod. <laughs> You're already dead, dude. Who talked oh. about this? Uh, just me and a bunch of other people. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so what's... <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but let me ask Tony first, so... Oh, you're asking me if you can do again. a show in Las Vegas called Kill Ichabod, where yeah. you do what we do here, but it's you hosting the show. What the yeah. fuck is going We'd on? We'd like you to be the band, though, if you want to... Oh, I'd love to. I could take a $1 bus trip yeah, out to Vegas, yeah. and uh, yeah. I absolutely... That sounds like a goddamn dream. I mean, I've been doing all this traveling, but to... Get on a bus filled with other people that took a $1 bus trip from Los yeah. Angeles to Las Vegas and then get to be part of the band on a show in which, you know, I basically created with my brain. How could you turn this down, Tony? I mean, this is just the opportunity. Do I get to use your toothbrush if I come out there? You, you use everything in that box. Uh, wow. Well, that's great. Wow. I need to uh, charge my phone, so I'm excited uh, about that. Well, like, what's your name that you were born with? Do you what's remember? Your ac- what's your actual... This is the question you don't is... don't remember your about The question name. is, what's your actual... Just your first name. Uh, Craig. Craig. Craig? Oh, my God. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Somehow, Craig is scarier. Yeah. Craig is, is scarier than Ichabod. Ichabod, you at least know what you get. Ichabod, I'm like, of course. If you sit down and you're like, I'm Craig, I'm like, well, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> yeah. You got bodies in your walls. Yeah, so I don't know why. Well, Ichabod, I'm going to tell you right now, straight up, that's a big no to kill Ichabod uh, in Las Vegas. But uh, I do love your spirit, and I love that you had the balls to ask.